Hello guys and welcome to uh, Anthony's Whiskey Review. Um, we'll be reviewing a selection of whiskies from American uh, to my favourite Irish whiskey and also as a bit of a sidewall um, Italian liqueur which some of you may not have heard of but may be interested to find out about. Okay, let's get started. Now first I would like to review uh, this whiskey. It's actually bourbon. A blended bourbon, old and tusky, uh, matured whiskey. Um, it's quite familiar to a lot of you. I know I've seen it in shops quite a lot. And um, yeah, uh, cheap and readily available and uh, quite decent. Yes, yeah, quite decent. Um, I'm going to open the cap here and see what's uh, inside. A bit of a smell. Quite good. Quite, quite a good smell. I'll actually, pour a little bit. I can uh, distinguish what's actually in it. Right. Well, my taste buds might be a little bit off from last night. Last night was a crazy night in town. Uh, I think I'm still a little bit on the uh, on steady. A minute. Um, a bit of a sniff. Uh, yes. Uh, very creamy. Hint of vanilla. Very easy on the nose, uh, so I mean, it's a good whiskey to start off on. Uh, you, all you whiskey drinkers, or are, are you new whiskey drinkers that aren't very experienced, um, may want to start off on a whiskey like this. It's a good one to introduce someone to who isn't familiar with whiskey. Um, let's have a taste. Quite sharp. Um, not my favourite taste, uh, but um, I wouldn't recommend using. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting any water into it, as as you can see, if you can see the uh, colour of the bottle or the um, liquid of the whiskey, uh, it's quite light, quite light, and it um, as such, if you put too much water into it, uh, it'll become to water it down, and I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but uh, yeah, quite cheap, and they're readily available. And if for all you guys that like to um, to to uh, mix it with coke, sacrilege, or oh, what, um, it's quite good for that uh, because it's cheap, and it's not really uh, such a crime if you uh, if you um, mix it with that if you're going out and you don't really. Want, you haven't got a lot of time, you want to go out to town and feeling a bit merry, then uh, it's good with coke, I guess. But uh, I like to drink it neat. Um, next, I'm going to go on to the John Jameson's. My, my uh, favourite, but uh, then again, I might, might be biased, mightn't I? Um, now, there we are, special container. Um, very nice container, I'm going to keep that. Um, oh, uh, it's empty. Uh, uh, that's covered because uh, I haven't been able to afford um, being a student and all. But a bit of a sniff, and they can still smell the remnants of it. Uh, quite creamy. Uh, quite. Um, Irish whiskey is very famous for, uh, for using smokeless fuel, therefore, it's not as sharp or as peaty as the scotch whiskies. Scotch whisky is very good, uh, it's just got a different taste. This one, um, is Irish whisky, is very famous because uh, it's uh, one of the oldest distilleries in, uh, in Ireland. I recently visited um, Jameson's old distillery in uh, Dublin and um, learned a lot about how it was made. Uh, quite, uh, quite um, when I say it, uh, quite clean, quite creamy, uh, very, um, as it goes down your throat, you, you, you get, um, you don't get that burning uh, that you might get with other sharper whiskies, uh, and so this is also a good whiskey to start off on. It's quite light, and uh, it won't lose your taste buds for the, for the rest. 
and it's readily available in stores, uh, and so it's very accessible, and so I uh, I give it a personal nod because um, it is very 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 good whiskey. Uh, not really from mixing with coke though. Um, you can't really want to, but it's kind of defeating the purpose, isn't it? Um, next we have Mirto. Uh, it's an Italian liqueur. Uh, not readily available over here because um, well, it's foreign. And uh, but luckily for me, I live with Italian flatmates, and so um, I was um, able to acquire this through them. Uh, just had a little bit of a pour. Quite dark. It looks like rum. Uh, so uh, if you can see there, quite dark. I want to say it smells like cough medicine, but it's a hell of a lot better than cough medicine. Uh, that's the kind of flavour of it. Uh, it's, it, it's made with grapes and herbs and spices. Um, it's a bit like um, it's a cross between mulled wine and sangria, but obviously a lot stronger. Uh, but yes, I do like this a lot. Let's just have a little bit of a taste. As it goes down your throat, it's not um, as sharp as uh, as this would be, uh, but uh, very good. And it's bottled at thirty percent, and it is one of my favourite liqueurs, simply because it tastes amazing. <laughs> so uh, highly recommended. Um, not readily available in the UK, uh, so I would recommend maybe. Um, Getting it imported, maybe on a website or from one of these, uh, maybe eBay might have some. So there we have it, the uh, whiskey and liquor review. Uh, which is my favourite? Um, well, you can, you can kind of ignore the mere things that you can't really compare the two. It's not really. Which would I go for? Every time it has to be Jameson's. But if you're on the budget, the blended bourbon is a good choice and you know decent if you want to uh, if you haven't got a lot of time and you want to get a little bit merry. Uh, but it's got to be if you want class and you want the uh, the better whiskey, it's got to be the Jamesons. Uh, what I like to do in town is I like to put the Jamesons or whatever. Uh, no, I usually go with this in town because uh, you get the coke in town with it, um, and I. Uh, Usually take this uh, nice, very nice Jack Daniels hit flask with me to town, and it saved me a lot. I tell you, in um, in Dublin, I was in Dublin a few weeks ago, and uh, I was shocked at the prices. I went to uh, I went to get a Jameson's, uh, went to get two shots of Jameson's, and a uh, friend of mine said, "How much is that?" And he goes, "Twelve ninety," and I said, "Twelve ninety? You're having a laugh, aren't you?" Twelve ninety, and I'm like. Okay, very painful to hand, hand over that note to those euros, but uh, there you go, that's, uh, that's uh, the credit crunch for you. Um, but yeah, um, I guess that's it for today. I'll be back with more reviews quite soon. Um, if you have any suggestions or requests for me, uh, leave them in the comments section.